last series, how important is it to get, get that confidence and that momentum going towards the tournament? I mean, no question, we, uh, it's a huge series for us just because it's the last series of the year. We want to play good the last series for the fans, and, and but for us, it's also very, very important to get it set up for the ACC tournament, the NCAA tournament, the RBI, the rankings. Every possible reason makes this a huge series. Do you look, do you look at the Virginia series as, you know, we know we can play with those guys and they're the best of the best, or... Is it? Do you look at it negatively and say, "Hey, man, we, we had a chance and we squandered the chance"? Well, you know, in Miami, you're expected to win series. You expect to get those those moral victories. So I'm not really into that. Other than we played pretty well, we could have, should have won every one of them, but we could have, should have, you know, lost every one of them too. They were all the tying run was on base when the games ended. So it was great games, so well played games, outstanding pitching from both sides, and we competed with what was the number one team. And those are the teams you got to beat if you want to go to Omaha, and that's what I told our guys. Where, where do you think your team is at at this point, uh, right before going into this last period? Well, I'll be honest, I felt better until uh, until FAU because I, I, we, we weren't ready to play and we were flat. And they was coming off a huge series. Uh, I hate playing on Tuesdays after a day off. We don't ever practice good on Tuesdays. And it was a series we had to play on that day, and, and we just weren't. We weren't motivated to play the game. We didn't play the game as well as they did. And, uh, I, I was feeling better about our team. It's a young team. And, and I remember in 06, we started four freshmen and had to go on the road twice. The regionals and super regionals ended up going to Omaha and finished fifth in the conference and fourth in the nation. And, you know, I, so I remember things like that. But I always worry about it, too. You know, you got you to do certain things to get there. And, and the fact is that, you know, this is a club that can play with anybody on a given day. But you know we got to win. Talking to a couple of the guys, they, they kind of realize that they, they know they got to do do well in this last series, and they got to do well in the tournament. They got to they got to try to win it. Well, that's okay with me. They, you know what? I don't have a problem putting pressure on players. You know, and, and I'm uh, I was pretty emotional after the game last night. The fact is, you you know it's it's a big series. And if you can't play under a little bit of pressure, then you can't hit in the ninth inning to get us to Omaha. Either. As far as I'm looking, you got to deal with pressure. You got to learn how to deal with pressure, whether it's here or Omaha. To get you to the positions. Talking to Nathan, asking him, hey, do you look at all these projections and the RPI and all that stuff? And uh, he says, I don't, but coach lets us know where we are. So so what do you talk to these guys? What, what's the message to them as we head here? Well, I mean, you control what you can control. Only can, we can only control how we play. So I, I honestly don't look at the projections as far as where people are going. I haven't, I don't, I looked at them not one time. I hear people talk, but the real deal is we can control what we do and play the game hard and win, and that takes care of everything. Then you don't have to worry about projections. And, and the real deal is in, the, in the, the, those meetings, in NCAA and ABCA meetings, they'll decide where you're going to play. I mean, you want to be playing your best baseball now. Uh, and there's no, there's no doubt that this team is a lot playing a lot better baseball than they were back in when the season started. So uh, forget, forget about the past few games. This team, is it poised for the postseason? You feel like you got a good group here that you can work with here throughout the throughout the, the, the rest of May and June? You know, I, as I said, I, I felt a little better a, a few days ago. But I, I really, really believe that if you ever feel like that you got it figured out, that you're in deep trouble as a coach. Because the next day the wheels are going to come off. So I don't ever feel feel like i got it figured out anymore. I felt like it before, and I've expressed that. And the next day the wheels come off. And, and you go, what are we doing? So, you know, the real deal is we can only control every game, every inning, every pitch, and play the game hard. All right, Duke, this weekend, you're going to be honoring some seniors here and uh, hopefully have some good crowds. Just talk about this weekend. Well, it's exciting. I mean, you know, it's exciting for the guys. And uh, uh, a couple of guys are graduating, uh, Rudman and Elias, and, uh, and that's always good. I mean, our APR was announced this week. It was in the top 10% of the country, which is great uh, because for – for most of our guys, and uh, that, that's going to be the most important thing in five years. Now, a lot of them will sign pro, but the real deal is that 95% of those guys in five years will be looking to see what they're going to do with that degree because it's very professional baseball is a different way, a different way, and it's very, very tough. Yeah, you know, in a sport where there's a lot of turnover and, and a lot of pressure on these guys to know that you're in the top 10%, you know, the tops of the tops in APR, what does that say just about? What the school and the athletic department, how they help these guys get get through. Well, I really, you know, it shows me, and I know why. It's a commitment from Dr. Shalala, from the top, to help these guys come back and graduate, to help them financially 
to get it done because without that I assure you we would not be any we, we might even not be eligible because we know that that Dr. Shalala's got a program set up for guys to come back for professional players to come back finish school and and that's been a big secret to our APR what she came up with the system that she came up with all right coach well wish you the best of luck this weekend thanks a lot thank you